This is the iYoYo Iceberg. It is a plastic metal hybrid design. And a number of yo-yos have come out with a similar design recently, but we feel like the Iceberg is the first one to really catch our attention. They did a lot of things right, so I'm really excited to tell you about this one. As you can see, it comes in the standard iYoYo box. Uh, it does come with a string. And it also comes in these nice plastic clamshells that help keep the yo-yo safe while it's being transported. Um, pretty simple, elegant box design, but we like it. Uh, so the iceberg, uh, if we're just talking about uh, some of the specifics, the first thing that you'll notice is it's got these stainless steel rims on it. The center is made out of aluminum, which has been blasted, so it's really good for finger spins. And then the body is made out of polycarbonate. As you can see, you can see through it a little bit, especially when you're doing grinds and stuff. And um, I think the best way to tell you about how good this yo-yo turned out is to compare it to uh, another similar yo-yo, probably the one it's based on, which is the iYoYo Steel. Now this yo-yo is one that we really, really love. Back in 2015, it was our top pick in our buyer's guide for bimetal yo-yos. And we feel like the Iceberg, when compared to the Steel, it bests it in pretty much every way. And I know that when you're looking at this, you're thinking, how could a plastic yo-yo actually be better than an aluminum yo-yo? Um, but that's kind of the magic that they achieved through the iceberg, so, so that's what I'm going to talk about. Now, first of all, you can see the designs are really similar, especially when you uh, put the yo-yos up like this side by side. There have been some changes in the design, which we feel are improvements, and so you can see the step coming off the bearing here has been exaggerated on the iceberg. That makes it a little bit better for horizontal. It also makes it just a little tiny bit more tilt resistant, which is great. But you'll also notice that the rims are thicker on the iceberg, and that's because the plastic body is uh, lighter than the aluminum body, so they can put more weight in the rim. And that's the real key to what makes the iceberg a superior yo-yo overall. You see, with um, if you think about the stainless steel rims compared to the polycarbonate, the stainless steel is seven times more dense than the polycarbonate. And so what you want out of these kind of hybrid designs where you use two different types of materials is you want as great a differential as possible between the material that you put on the rim of the yo-yo, in this case stainless steel, and the body, so that you can really feel the, the weight of that on the outside edge of the yo-yo. Now on a standard aluminum stainless steel bimetal yo-yo, the stainless steel is only three times heavier than the aluminum. And so you can achieve a much greater differential with plastic than you could with aluminum, and that's really what makes this yo-yo shine. Uh, you can put so much more weight on the rim of the yo-yo that it's just got so much power. And so when you're doing, uh, you know, if you're doing like your longest combo that you know how to do, and it's uh, just got all these elements that really push the yo-yo to the limit, if you do it on the iceberg, when you bring the yo-yo back to your hand, you're gonna be surprised at how fast it's spinning because it really maintains its spin really well because of that extra power. Now, I know that when you're kind of looking at these yo-yos, um, the big question is, can plastic really, can it honestly play as good as aluminum? And there have been a number of times in the history of yo-yo where a company has come out with a new plastic design and they're like, we finally did it, we've got a plastic yo-yo that plays as good as aluminum. Usually those yo-yos play fine, but they never live up to the hype. Uh, in this case, we feel like the iceberg is superior. Um, but how did they achieve that? Well, most of the time with plastic, the reason it doesn't hold up is because plastic is often injection molded. And so what they do is they kind of carve out a mold and then they inject really hot plastic into that mold and then the plastic has to cool down and that's where it gets its shape. And then they pull it out of the mold. Well, that process of the plastic cooling down, it cools down at different rates around uh, the different aspects of the yo-yo because different parts are thicker, and that just messes with the precision a little bit so that injection molding, it's not as precise as what you can get out of aluminum because aluminum has to be machined. It's spun really fast, and they have these little tools that come in here, and they dig out the aluminum so that it's absolutely perfect. So what they did with the iceberg is they used the same techniques. Instead of using an injection molding system and heating the plastic up, they just took a block of polycarbonate, just like you take a block of aluminum, and they put it on the same type of machine, and they use the same type of tools to machine it. And so it has uh, the same type of precision that you would get out of an aluminum yo-yo. And you can really feel that when you play it, whether it's on the string or whether you're doing your grinds. 
Uh, you just can't believe that a plastic yo-yo can feel that smooth, but it really does. And because you get the benefits of the lighter plastic, um, it just makes for an all-around superior product. Um, again, if you're just comparing the finger spin uh, dimples, you've got the small area for the steel. It's made bigger in the iceberg. And um, yeah, just on a lot of different levels, it, they just really stepped up the design and uh, it's significantly less expensive than the steel, just all around, it's a, it's a better product. So let's take a look on the inside. And um, you can see, uh, again, they, they made really good choices here. Uh, the bearing is going to sit on metal as opposed to the plastic, so you don't have to worry about that breaking down, and that works really great. Also helps it play as smooth as it does. The uh, bearing itself is iYoYo's proprietary, uh, it's a string centering bearing, it works great. Um, one thing that surprised us was how much we liked these response pads. Uh, they're especially grippy, they're very consistent, and so that was just one more piece to uh, this yo-yo that we thought, wow, they, they just paid attention to every detail, and it really plays great. Now, I think another thing uh, that you might be wondering about is, is it gonna be as durable? Is it gonna hold up uh, to drops and things like that, as well as a aluminum yo-yo? And so uh, one of the ways that we test that with yo-yos is we just give it to Jake and we have him do a bunch of crazy 5A tricks. He likes the iceberg so much, he's been playing with it uh, in 5A for uh, quite a while now. And it still holds up, it still plays really smooth, it's been taking a beating, which uh, even a lot of bimetals aren't able to do that. And you know, it, it is totally past the test. It's just a really, really well executed design all around. Uh, the yo-yo itself, um, they describe it as being frosted. It's uh, similar to the texture of like bead blasting or something like that. What that means in practical terms is it's got this really nice look to it. Um, on grinds, it seems to grind, uh, might even be just as long as aluminum yo-yos. It, it feels super good when you're using it. Um, yeah, it, it's, just, it's just the whole package. And uh, you know, I'm always a little bit dubious when I try plastic yo-yos that are trying to be as good as metal, and this is the first one where I feel like, yeah, they, they actually achieved it. So um, let's take a look at how it plays. So since the Iceberg is such an unusual yo-yo, it is going to pair some unusual characteristics. The first thing that you'll probably notice about it is that it does play on the lighter side. It's just under 66 grams, which I guess is on the more normal side of light, uh, which means it's really easy to move around and manipulate during your tricks. Um, and it's also really easy to get it to move quickly, uh, but it's not one of those yo-yos that demands to be moved fast. Um, also because of how rim weight it is, you're going to be able to do really long combos and it's gonna be a lot more forgiving during your tricks in general. Now, as we already mentioned, it does have that extra large step coming off of the response pad area, which makes the shape a little bit better for horizontal. But when you pair that with how rim weighted the yo-yo is, it ends up being really, really forgiving, uh, but also moves really quickly as you go through your horizontal tricks, which if you're just getting into these types of tricks, you're gonna need that little bit of help. And um, we also already talked about the response pads, how those are really extra grippy. Um, and then the ability to do finger spins on this yo-yo is particularly nice. Even coming off of kind of a mediocre throw, you can still get a really long finger spin out of this yo-yo. And um, it's not like one of those yo-yos that's foolproof. Uh, you do need a little bit of skill to get your fingers centered into, this, uh, into the center of the yo-yo. But even if you throw the yo-yo a little bit crooked, what you'll find is that more often than not, your finger just drops into the center with no effort at all. And it really works great. And so uh, when you look at this yo-yo as a whole, you know, you've got uh, the two different colors at launch. You've got the blue and the silver. Both of them work really, really well. Um, it's machined to precision with the plastic and the metal going together. So it gives it all those great characteristics. And it's really just gonna stand out among any collection. And we think that that's a good reason why this one is a great yo-yo to consider. So that is the iYoYo Iceberg.